In units 3 and 4, we have looked at uh, elements connected in uh, series and parallel and also uh, in the use of control sources. I will show a worked out example involving uh, these aspects and this is the kind of problem that you expect in the assignment for these two units. Now, let us take a very simple case. Now, a circuit like this with uh, two resistors in series and any kind of question can be asked about this. For instance, one could ask you what the equivalent circuit is between the nodes A and B. It clearly looks like a resistance of 3 kilo ohm, because we have already discussed this that a series combination of a number of resistors simply looks like uh, the sum of all the individual resistors. Now, we could uh, complicate this circuit by having another resistance in parallel. Okay. So, again there are a number of ways to solve this, but the easiest is you recognize that we have a parallel combination here okay. and that parallel combination looks like a single resistance. Okay. Now, if I call this the effective resistance 1 over r effective will be 1 by 2 kilo ohm plus 1 by 8 kilo ohms. By the way, for uh, two resistors in parallel, you are probably already familiar with the formula. If r 1 and r 2 are in parallel, they result in a single resistance value R 1 R 2 by R 1 plus R 2. Okay. This comes from the general relationship we evaluated earlier that the reciprocal of the effective resistance is the sum of reciprocals of individual resistances. Okay. So, if you calculate this in this case R effective turns out to be 1.6 kilo ohms. So, this uh, entire combination equals 1.6 kilo ohms and in uh, series with that we have this 1 kilo ohm. So, in the new circuit when we have the 8 kilo ohm resistor also we have an effective resistance of one point six plus one which is two point six kilo ohms. Okay. So quite simple. Now I'll show another uh, simple example with control sources. Okay. Now let's say this is A and B and I'll still ask the same question what is the resistance between A and B, but the actual question could be something else. You could have a voltage source there and you could be asked to find some current and so on. All those can be uh, carried out equally easily. Okay. Let me define this voltage as V x and I will define a voltage controlled current source. which is 
1 milli zeeman times vx and again i ask what is the equivalent between the nodes a and b and this is the standard way for finding the equivalent for any circuit apply a voltage and find the current of course you could apply a current source and find the voltage in this case i'll uh, consider applying a voltage now clearly if i have a v test it's applied across this uh, series combination of two resistors so the current that flows here is given by v test divided by the total resistance between these two i'm only looking at this series branch which consists of these two resistors so that will be v test divided by 3 kilo ohms and this vx would be the current flowing through that times the voltage which is vx v test divided by 3 kilo ohms times 2 kilo ohms okay which is v test times 2 by 3 this is nothing but the voltage divider formula which you are most likely familiar with if i have v and r1 and r2 across this i'll have v times r2 by r1 plus r2 okay so that's exactly what i get and the way to derive this formula is to realize that a current through this is v divided by r1 plus r2 and that current times this resistance is the voltage across r2 okay then this control current source draws a current which is basically 1 milli siemens times vx which is 1 milli siemens times v test times 2 by 3 so all i did was to substitute the value of vx in this place okay so now the total current i test is equal to the current flowing here plus the current flowing there so i test will be equal to v test divided by 3 kilo ohm plus 1 milli siemens times v test times 2 by 3 okay therefore v test by i test will turn out to be 1 by 3 kilo ohms plus 1 milli siemens times 2 by 3 okay which this part you realize is 1 by 3 milli siemens so this is 1 by 1 by 3 milli siemens plus 2 by 3 milli siemens okay so the effective resistance between a and b is v test by i test which is 1 by 1 by 3 milli siemens plus 2 by 3 milli siemens which is basically 1 kilo okay so now you could be asked a number of uh, other questions for instance you could be asked the current flowing through this branch or this branch or the circuit could be a little more complicated and you could be asked for currents and voltages elsewhere in the circuit but once you are able to apply the uh, voltage source and carry out these calculations you should be able to find any of those quantities okay so in this particular example the effective resistance turns out to be 1 kilo ohm 